that we are getting rid of the wheel wells. Hi, this is Jonathan from Clever. This is our V2 subfloor and trailer architecture. We've been working on this for a really long time and we're super excited to introduce it. So what is this and what have we been working on? At Clever, one of our key things is continuous improvement. We're always looking and collecting feedback from our clients and from how we build our homes and making it better and better. And this is a big one. There are three big things we solve with this new architecture. The biggest one is that we are getting rid of the wheel wells. That was one of the big pieces of feedback we've had, which is, hey, it'd be nice if I could use this space that's being taken up by the wheel well. It's gone, we're gonna talk about how we do that. The second is the ability in the future to remove the home from the trailer. So sometimes folks want that flexibility to be able to mount it in a different way, and we now have that. And the third, which is a little more subtle, but sometimes very, very important, is being able to deliver our extra wide homes on roads that have the space, but maybe the actual pavement is more of a normal size. Our old design, the wheels were on the edge, which meant they often were on the very edge of the road, which could cause a lot of problems. So we've solved all three of those, and I wanna talk about how. Now, before I do that, let me talk about how we did not solve it. One of the very common ways in tiny homes or on houses on wheels to not have wheel wells is to do what's called a deck over design. Basically, that means you have your wheels and your axles and then you build the home above that, deck over uh, the wheels. Your, your, your floor deck is above the wheels. This design comes with trade-offs, trade-offs that we were not willing to make. The first, well, one of the trade-offs is either your home's over height, which can be very expensive to deliver or sometimes impossible to deliver because it's, it's beyond normal height. The other is you have to make the ceilings shorter. Again, definitely not a trade-up we're willing to make. Uh, our homes feel really big and really spacious because of the high ceiling. Or you have to use a cheap trailer home, axles and wheels and trailer setup, these little tiny wheels that don't go very far and definitely do not meet our quality standard. Okay. I wanna show you how we do it. We're gonna jump over to a unit that has the subfloor exposed and go in detail of how this works. So this is a subfloor for a clever one. The first thing you notice is there's no trailer. That's because the trailer is gonna get at it later. The second thing you'll notice is this framed out area here. This is effectively the new wheel well. So the subfloor decking is gonna go on top here and the wheel is gonna be able to ride up within here. This allows us to keep the home relatively low, but not have the wheel well stick through. It does mean that the floor of the home when on wheels is a little bit higher than it used to be, but it's just one step, so it's not a huge amount. The other part is that we provide insulation that will go in here when the home is parked, so everything is fully and nicely insulated. The other nice thing about this is that the wheels are inset like this, it makes it easier for the wheels and the axles to fit on the road. There's a couple other things you might notice. These big support LVLs. And if you're familiar with construction, what's going on with these upside down brackets? Well, this is part of our design. So to allow the trailer to be easily removed from the home. These LVLs, and there's a few of them along it, are actually designed to support the home. So you can unhook the trailer from the home. It's connected with some bolts. You can jack up on these jack points, which will completely support the weight of the home, and then pull the trailer out. All of what this does is creates a number of benefits for our home. The first, no wheel well, which is great. The second, easier transportation. And the third is a lot of flexibility in terms of what happens to this home throughout its life. Because we're building these homes to last decades and decades and decades, and we want to make sure there's that flexibility to do with it whatever you want to do. So these are in production now, and they're coming to all of our Clever Tiny Home customers. We're super excited to get it out there. This has been actually worked on for a long time with our team and engineers to get this all to work, uh, and it's something we're super excited about. Thank you.